Hi, this is Nathan from Rain Networks, and this is part three of our Proofpoint Essential demos. And uh, in part one, we talked about how to add customers um, and how to use the breadcrumb navigation piece in the upper portion of the portal. In part two, we talked a little bit about uh, how to change your licensed features and manage your licensing, and then we also talked about branding. In part three, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, domains and how that piece works, how we configure our domains, um, and get get started filtering email and uh, doing different things we want to do with Proofpoint Essentials. So first of all, let's go to Customers, and I'm going to go to Chad's Automotive. And you'll notice as we went through in the last video, I've set up a special co-branding. It's, it's fairly ugly, frankly, but uh, it's good at showing the, uh, the co-branding. I got a green banner with a Ford logo for Chad's Automotive. So let's go to the domain section here, which is under company settings in the gray, the gray uh, bar here. We can go to domains. And this is where we tell Proofpoint what domain we're using for email. So you'll see that I've put in actually my personal domain, nathanware.com here. And if I go over here on the right hand side, you'll see I've got a section here for edit domain, this little pencil right here. And when I click on this, this is where I put in the actual delivery address. And you'll see that it lets me put four failover addresses. So if I want to have um, a backup, I can put in those failovers. If you use, for example, uh, Google Apps for Business or Google Work, um, they usually give you five email destinations. So you could put all five of those destinations. Some, uh, some email destinations are, are just one, like Office 365 is usually only a single destination. But just for the sake of testing, I'll go ahead and put in uh, mail.nathanware dot com for my delivery destination and then it asks me here if I want to enable it I'm gonna go ahead and say yes to that and that's all there is to enabling your domain for uh, email relay now I still have to go into the DNS settings for my domain and set up the um, set up the proof point to be the delivery email uh, MX records and you can see here that once I hit save it kind of did a little test for me which is kind of handy first of all it sees that I currently do use Google Apps uh, for business for that domain's email which is what those server addresses are there and then it also is telling me that my domain is not configured with the correct MX records but luckily they're nice enough to give me the two MX records that I need to create um, in terms of priority on those you can put them just 10 and 20 is fine um, but most importantly Importantly, you just want to make sure that the MX1 uh, MX record is set to your primary and then MX2 is your failover. So anyways, they're very good about kind of telling you, you know, what your MX records need to be. And now if I switched my MX records to deliver those mail messages to Proofpoint, because I've added the domain in this domain section and I've turned on Relay, which you can see that now I've got the green slider over here set to green, that's telling me that Relaying is active, Proofpoint will now clean and then deliver the cleaned email on to my delivery destination, which was mail.nathanware.com. So that's how easy it is to set up your domain for inbound Relaying. Uh, subsequently, this uh, lower section down here is how we set up our outbound. So I'm going to go ahead and click New Sending Server. Again, I'm going to put in uh, mail.nathanware.com as the sending server and hit Save. And oh, that's right, I've got to use an IP address here. I forgot about that IP address. And there we go, I've just put in the sending server IP address. So now I can route email from this IP address to the Proofpoint outbound email server. All right, that covers how to manage your domain for both inbound and outbound. Key thing to understand is just that this upper section is for inbound mail filtering and outbound is configured at the bottom. Notice here it also does say that changes take effect every half hour. So as you're making the changes, make sure that you factor in, you know, they're not going to make uh, immediate uh, reflection in the proof point system. You're going to need to give it some time to, uh, to update on their side. All right, hope that helps in how to manage domains. We'll be back shortly with another video on how to manage users.